They were the beginning of your destruction in some shape or form. Because nothing ever happens all the time. Never propels things to ever happen. And always blurs out the possibility of change or people fluctuating depending on the day. And the reality is people do fluctuate depending on the day. The reality is seasons change. And people switch hats. So saying always all the time, saying never all the time, saying all the time, all the time is very damaging. Because the reality of it is, it's never all inclusive. There's always sometimes sometimes exists it's not real it's not reality saying always or you never you sure about that quiet yourself quiet your emotions and really examine what is really going on because 20 times out of 20 There are times when other things do occur. If you always are in a habit of complaining and you just think that that's just a part of you and you never commending your partner for just their existence or the things they do, that's very damaging. A bad habit. You never put my shirts out for work. That one time she did, you should congratulate her so she could be more compelled to make that one time turn in a few times and that few times turn into once a week. But you have to see things at a stance of the cup is half full, not half empty. And then it could become more beneficial for you and your partner to just function in a relationship. If you at if you are at a point in your relationship where you find yourself complaining about everything. Everything's wrong. And it really isn't, but you're at a point where it's not. And you want change to occur in your partner. Do the reverse. Instead of complaining, compliment. Compliment the good things that they are doing because it is some good. They're not all-inclusive bad or you wouldn't be in a relationship. Compliment those good things, those, those small things that they are doing good, those things that are not as frequent that they are doing good and watch things propel in a direction that's more beneficial i even challenge you to spend at least 30 days just complimenting every time you get a moment to complain just stop yourself catch yourself and don't complain and find something good to say put that positive energy in the atmosphere and see how beneficial it is. Might not feel good. Might not feel right. Especially if you operate out of the thoughts. Oh, I just got to keep it real all the time. Well, the reality is no one's 100% bad. There is some good in everybody. So why not highlight the good so the good can get bigger? And they can get better. Take your focus off of the things you can complain about. Because there's always, always room for complaining. But find time in your relationship to compliment. To say what is working. What is doing well by you.
and watch things change for the better. I could go on and on about habits because the reality is we are multi-layered people. We do things out of predisposed exposure to different variables and sometimes where we convince ourselves that's the only way to operate. However, it's not. There's always an alternative. There's always room for change. And when you look at your habits, you have to be real with yourself more than anybody else. You have to be available to say, yeah, I, I do have a bad habit of doing that. How can I be different? Even if it feels comfortable. Because sometimes the bad things that we do feel comfortable because we've been doing it so long. But that don't mean it, it justifies the reason they're doing it. No, change that. Change that. A booster don't always have to be a booster. A liar don't always have to be a liar. Change that. Change those bad habits so you can be better in your relationships. Not perfect, because you'll never, never reach a point of perfection. But just be better in your relationship. That's the key thing. That is the key thing. And I always send that message. Because even with therapy, life coaching, image coaching, it's only taken on to make yourself better. It's not taken on so you can be perfect. Because no one will be perfect. It's only taken on so you can be better. And when you know that, you find it ever more beneficial to have in your life. Because it doesn't hurt to have an extra pair of eyes. Another set of eyes to just say, okay, this is what's going on. This is what can be right. This can go right. It doesn't hurt. Because sometimes you get too involved with your situations that you need somebody outside looking in to say something. So I encourage you to work on your habits and your personal and professional life just so you can be better. This concludes the series on habits.